all right all right hello and how's it going everyone and welcome back to the channel my name's Reza and we got another reaction video for y'all today what up it is monday the regular season is over for the nfl next week the playoffs will start and it'll get crazy i'm i have no doubt but first we're gonna watch these week 18 game highlights we got minnesota vikings detroit lions we're gonna hop right into the game hope everyone's doing great this week i'm doing fantab fantabulous fantastic <laughs> i don't know what i'm trying to say i tried to say fantastic but i said fantabulous so we're gonna hop right in and ignore that let's go goff this is sec one of my favorite teams to watch play besides the niners is the detroit lions fucking love jameer gibbs did wait did that just that went from a lions third and six to a Minnesota fourth down. <laughs> Why is it Minnesota? Why didn't we see it? Whatever. Okay. Ooh. Shit. Nah. -uh. Let's go. Ah, uh, he's down. Oh. Okay, now he's down. That was crazy. Good run. Holy shit. Let's go. Hold on, I'm gonna check the audio real quick, real quick, uh, real quick. Uh. I'm gonna check the audio. Okay, that sounds fine. Sorry about that. Hope to get right back into the video. Goff, there. Oh my God, St. Brown is just wide open. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. Might have just kept on going for a few more yards, but it's all good. Good ass fucking first down. That's a dope jerseys, by the way. Lions fans, good shit. Oh, shit. Oh, easy. Laporta touchdown. Sheesh. The Lions had a bad first drive. And then, well, I mean, we didn't get to really see it, but they looked like they got three and outed or whatever. Doesn't matter because on the net, their next drive. Oh, sheesh. <laughs> There's no way they're throwing it to the guy that just fell. He can't, definitely can't get back up. And Oh, my God. Sheesh. Unblocked. Damn, 76 on the O-line. The right uh, the right tackle just sold in both directions. If like, if that guy didn't sack Mullins, it would have been the other uh, DN. Or it would have been the D-end. Oh, my God. Is he down, though? Yeah. I was going to say, I think he's out. Yeah, he goes out, like, right there. He out. It's all good. Gonna drink my liquid death. Sparkling water. I'm hungry, guys. Hope everyone's doing well. My Niners lost yesterday, but, uh, it's okay. Besides Christian McCaffrey and Jordan Mason and, uh, uh, Elijah Mitchell, you know, the Niners running backs, our favorite running backs to watch besides those three. Jameer Gibbs, Kenneth Walker from the Seahawks, uh, Isaiah Pacheco, Montgomery. Maybe a few others out there, but those four mainly, dude. Those are so entertaining to watch them run. It's fucking awesome. You know, uh, Kyron, Ky Kyron Williams is also a pretty ball, uh, balling out uh, running back. Sorry, I can't speak today. I'm tired. It's... It's been a long week. It's Monday. <laughs> oh, back up tight end. Damn, it sucks that Hawkinson got, was out when they had playoff potential. I mean, Hawkinson went out like two games ago. They had they had playoff potential, but ooh, ooh, jo Justin Jefferson. I read some crazy stat. Excuse me. Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Damn. Did they just not... Hutchinson just got through so easily there. Good shit, Hutchinson. And 13-3. Thirteen three. Well, what I was gonna say is I I read some crazy stat that Justin Jefferson, like I don't know who won this game. I don't know if it was the Vikings or the Lions. Ooh. 
Ooh. Sheesh. Wait, can he hit that? Can he hit him like that? I guess he can. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. Big gain. Um, I, anyway, I read some crazy stat that Justin Jefferson has over a thousand yards this season. He's only played like 10 games or less or something like that. That's crazy. Having a thousand receiving yards and being only in like 10 or less games. That's crazy. Justin Jefferson is probably the number one wide receiver in the NFL. If he played a full season, sheesh. If he had a better quarterback, sheesh. And I'm not saying Kirk Cousins. Kirk Cousins is good quarterback, just he's injured. Good enough, at least. Oh. Let's go. Sorry for talking so much. I'll stop doing that. Let's go, Mullins. There we go. Ooh. Ooh. Nice first down. Ah -ah. You just got to do that. Ah -ah. Ooh. Damn. Two. Oh. Oh, I thought it was a strip sack for a second. Hutchinson with the two sacks in, in the game so far. Nice. What's it called? Um, those helmets are badass. Are they like old helmets? Vic or I mean, Lions fans, can you tell me? Are those like... Uh... Ooh, he's still up. Holy shit. Um, are those like the old logo or something like that, Lions fans? Because those are baller helmets. I like it. Also, I like the jerseys, but I've seen those jerseys before, I think. I think. People's Jones. I, did, I completely forgot People's Jones was on the lines. Let's go, Joff. I'm kidding. Goff. Montgomery. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, Montgomery. Holy shit. Did you hear that? Sorry. I didn't mean to pause right there. But hear that smack. Oh. Montgomery is such a beast. I hope he's all good from that. Such a fucking dynamic duo. I hope they keep both of those, uh, both of them running backs on lines. I don't know if it's possible, but that's another thing that I'm worried about for the Niners is keeping our team uh, together for next year when it comes to contracts. We better, uh, we better pay Brandon Ayuk or I'm gonna be pissed. I'm planning on getting his jersey soon. Nah, -uh. oh. I thought Hutchinson was about to get his third sack. I mean, he definitely applied the pressure right there. Good shit, Lions. This is a great, great day to be a Lions fan. So far. I don't want to jinx it. Oh, my God. I hate my, I hate myself. I hate myself. I, the Lions are still winning, but I say something, and then literally the opposite happens. You can watch most of my videos. It happens all the time. It's as if I'm talking shit, which I'm not really talking shit. I'm just talking. And then they hear me. The quarterback on the, the the other team is like, what did you say about me? And then just fucking... Is he gritty? Good job, Justin. JJ. That's one of my favorite wide receivers right there besides any Niner receivers. Of course, Debo and Ayuk ahead. Juwan Jennings. Ray McLeod. But non-Niners receivers. Justin Jefferson's. Oh my god. How did they not? What? Evans, I don't know what he was doing, but he should have been able to stop him within the, like, the 5 or 10, but good shit. Let's go. Amon Ra, St. Brown, fucking balling out. Don't get me wrong, he's a great receiver. I'm just think Justin Jefferson is like the best in the NFL, probably. Amon Ra is definitely up there for sure, and I think Brandon Ayuk's up there too. No. Up there with Devontae Adams and Stephon Diggs and Tyreek Hill. Those are all those people I named are the like top six receivers in my opinion. 
There are definitely some others, but... Now, C.D. Lamb's amazing. A.J. Brown is uh, is amazing, but I feel like they're they're in a rough spot right now. Woo! Jefferson, dude. Holy shit. Can't wait to see the stats about Jefferson for this game. Why did they stop playing Josh Dobbs? Oh. Ooh. Minnesota. Vikings. Good shit. <laughs> he just ran super fucking fast. I don't understand Camp Sutton sitting on that with no safety help over the top. And and there's again we Hutchinson looks like he's choking them. Standing in and making that throw. Metellus coming on the blitz. Gibbs picks him up. Goff on the move, throws it to and as James Mitchell picks him up. Goff on the move. Damn. Man had to fucking jump 12 feet in the air for that one. No, I'm just kidding. But that, still, that was a great catch. Second catch of the season? Sheesh. Great fucking second catch of the season, my guy. Oh. Okay. Thirty to twenty. Yeah, I mean the the Vikings weren't gonna make this no easy game. They're a tough team. Uh, even oh, right when I say stuff, I I still stand by what I said. They're a tough team. Good shit. Oh, that's Sutton. Good shit. You fucking. What's it called? You uh you redeemed yourself after fucking up on that Addison touchdown. I think that was Addison, right? Wait. Oh. Johnson to the Vikings. Sorry. I just want to see that one more time. Third down and five. Collins and the Vikings loft it right to the free. God damn. God damn. First game since week two. He's got the pick. They've matched the franchise record with 12 wins. Another box checked. What is next for Dan Campbell and the Lions? They head to the playoffs. They head to the playoffs to probably do really well. Uh, my Niners might be seeing y'all at some point this playoff. Uh, most likely it would have to be championship game because I don't think we can see you in the divisional. Um, <clears throat> I think the divisional, the Niners will be playing either the Bucks or the um, Eagles, whoever wins that game, Bucks eagles And then uh, the Lions will have to go through the Cowboys again. But I think the Lions could definitely beat the Cowboys, um, you know. Based off of what happened last time, I think uh, I think they could, but they would have to be at uh, AT&T Stadium again, I believe, because Dallas, I think, is the number two seed. Anyway, that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Really appreciate y'all watching, liking, commenting, subscribing. I really appreciate all y'all. It's awesome. It's helping me out. I mean, really appreciate it. I'm going to continue making these videos. If you have any recommendations on stuff I should do differently or stuff I should do new, um, I'm do I mainly do NFL football uh, when you know the season's coming to an end so I'm gonna figure out something to do there I haven't decided fully yet I mean I really like hockey I really like basketball um, I like baseball but I think baseball would be kind of boring not gonna lie um, for yeah I don't even have a baseball team right now either <laughs> like I I was an angels fan because I'm a huge Shohei Otani fan. But Otani's now on the Dodgers, and I hate the Dodgers because the, you know, bunch of, you know, San Francisco Giants and Dodgers are not friends. So anyway, I'd probably root for the Giants now that Otani's on the Dodgers, which sucks because I love Otani. Have an Angels Otani jersey. Anyway, <clears throat> that being said, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching yet again. Um, going to be, oh, wait, we got to do the stats. Got to do the stats. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. Damn. Nick Mullins actually balled out. What the fuck? Is this, this is the right one, right? Yeah. Look at that shit. Mullins almost threw for 400 yards. 30 for 44, 396, two touchdowns, two interceptions. Sheesh! Chandler, 1269. Madsen, 724. Jefferson, 14, 12, 192, one touchdown. God damn, Jefferson. Munt, 6, 5, 58. Adson, 8, 4, 57. Oliver, 
All right, Goff, 23, 32, 320, two touchdowns, amazing. Holy shit, Jared Goff, balling out as well. Montgomery, 10 for 40, Gibbs, 13 for 30. St. Brown, 10, 7, 144, just balling out all over. Both quarterbacks, both top receivers. Porta, 7, 5, 29, but a touchdown, 7, 5, 44. Great game. Good shit lines. I said it once and I'll say it again. One of my favorite teams to watch besides the Niners. Um, <clears throat> we may be seeing you, but uh, yeah, we'll have to we'll have to get past the divisional, of course, as well. But y'all might have to go through the Cowboys or the Cowboys are playing the Packers, right? So, I mean, first, of course, is the Rams. I think you're going to have to go through the Rams. And then assuming you win there, you got to go through either the Cowboys or Packers. And if it's the Packers, y'all will be at home, which is good. And if it's the Cowboys, you'll be away, which will be interesting. But I'll definitely be reacting to it. Sorry for talking so much. I'm going to end it here. I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. I'm going to do some more reactions later today. And uh, yeah, stay tuned for those. Adios, everyone.